So if you've looked at my previous video with the installation of this new Flow uh, EV charger, level two charger, um, this is gonna be our first use of the charger. I just did a little trip in the Panamera e-hybrid and I have uh, created my, my account on my Flow app as they instructed us to do. <clears throat> so I've got the charger here, the serial number of the charger associated with my account. And now I'm gonna plug it in and then I can, you know, use the software to monitor it and so on. So that's what we're gonna do right now. So it should start charging automatically. There we go. We've got our blinking battery light. Everything's green. So, and again, if we go over to the flow charger here, it is solid blue. And let's have a look at my sessions here. And it should pull up my session. My current session it says charging in progress. There we go. 14.8 amps, 25 watt hours duration 34 seconds so you can actually control the session but this will keep track of the progress of your charge now the the Panamera e-hybrid has a 10.8 kilowatt hour battery pack and I've depleted it about half so um, it'd be interesting to see it should be quite fast to recharge this with a level 2 charger at home um, so what's it? It's about uh, 25 to 3 o'clock right now, 25 to 3. So I'll keep an eye on this and see how it's doing when it's finished. Um, now, of course, you don't need one of these level 2 chargers if you've got a plug-in hybrid like we do. However, I just went out, ran some errands. Now I'm going to do something else this afternoon. So I've got about an hour in between. And I've got about half my battery uh, capacity available right now so with the fast charger I should be able to top up the battery almost all the way in an hour at home so I can go out again and with this short range plug-in hybrid system I can still drive around in uh, an electric mode EV mode without having to plug in somewhere else on the way out that's one of the limitations of having these plug-in hybrids is you can't go that far on a charge so you either have to find a charger if you when you're out if you want to stay in electric mode or you have to switch over just to uh, go into gas electric hybrid which is fine it's just that you're burning gas as well at that point uh, obviously if you have a full electric car an EV you definitely have to have at least a level 2 charger uh, at your house or at your business or whatever it is in order to charge up quickly enough because it'll just take too long otherwise but we're not there yet we don't have any a full EV um, but now we're ready to do that and once again there is a rebate program available right now through BC Hydro so if you're in BC you should look into it go to BC Hydro's page and have a look through their materials because I don't know how long they're gonna keep the incentive program going you have to have it installed by a certified electrician you have to pull permits on it and all that kind of stuff so you do have that initial upfront cost, but you know for years you will be able to use this for whichever vehicles you want. And this particular charger, the X5 charger, allows for an additional charger to be installed on the system. So you can have two cars charging at once. I think they alternate automatically. And this is a 30 amp system. It's on a 40 amp circuit, but it's a 30 amp system. Now it's time for a little update on the update. Um, after I charged the car a couple more times, I got to use the Flow app a little bit and I noticed that it'll send you a little email notification when the car is fully charged, which is maybe handy. Also on your app, it'll tell you that it's fully charged as well. I'll show you that. I guess if you have like two electric cars or something and you wanna change the charger once it's fully charged, on one car you want to switch it over to the other car that could be handy so that you're not kind of wasting time waiting for something that's already done apparently you can have two chargers connected to this system I don't know how many amps 
uh, you're gonna pull with two going but right now it's only been charging at like 15 amps I noticed it's only been charging at 15 amps and I'm not sure if that's a product of the um, uh, the car charger that we've got with this system or is it normal operations I haven't had time to really figure that out yet but in any case just a little update for you so if you are thinking about getting one of these level 2 chargers it gives you an idea of what to expect and perhaps you want to look at another one of the uh, products like a Leviton or something like that or a Sun Country or something some of the other uh, competitors to the flow uh, charger but at least with the flow I kind of like the app and I've used it before for the city parkades and various uh, chargers around the city so uh, you may prefer one of the other systems I don't know this would be the readout telling you how many kilowatts and how many hours it took and stuff like that but if you go to your uh, if you go to your phone and you go to like charge hub charge hub is an app which will show you where all the different chargers are and whether they're occupied it's fairly accurate although I notice sometimes it's supposed to show you green where it's available that one's red for example so that one's not available this is downtown Victoria so for example you look at this one down here Bastion Square Parkade and I'll show you some details about it it says zero ports available, two ports in total. It'll give you some details about it, like the range, distance from where you are, that kind of stuff. So it's pretty handy if you're looking around for chargers. And then the uh, the same goes for the Flow app. The Flow app will give you that information as well on a map basis. So for example, if we go to Victoria here again, you'll see there's like, know, let me just put it, I gotta put it down here. There's there's downtown Victoria, so there's a ton of locations there. You can see how many flow charges there are. So they're pretty well represented. So if I were to click on one of those, that's available. And it'll show me City of Victoria, Broughton Street Parkade, Broughton Street Parkade, and it'll give you the charger serial number. So what you do with that charger serial number that I showed you on, on the app here, on the Flow app, is you, because uh, you need the Flow app if you're going to use the charger once you get to a parkade. Um, for those of you who have used these, you know you already know this, but in any case, um, you need to have that Flow app. And what you would do is you would um, select the charger based on the serial number that is on the charger that you see that's available. Make sure they line up with serial numbers you start the session on that basically and it'll authorize it and that unlocks the charger because usually they have a little mechanism to to lock the charger uh, port and you unlock it and then you can go ahead and plug it in and start your session of course at home you don't have to do that you just use it the way you would normally use it to, it's just put it back in the holder and it doesn't have a lock on it and there are other you know free charges around town um, that that are not proprietary like that uh, you'll find those all over the place they don't have locks on them so you don't have to log in you just basically um, off you go you plug it in you don't have to have any app for it so th there's some of those as well all those level 2 chargers yeah so that's it for now um, hope you found this useful again uh, don't forget to hit subscribe and uh, hit the uh, bell button for more videos and uh, let me know what your experiences with uh, EVs and with plug-in hybrids has been so far. And we're all hoping that we're going to get like a Porsche 918 hybrid or something like that. Well, it's probably not a plug-in hybrid, but uh, <laughs> this is the closest I'm coming to get in, getting a 918. Maybe we'll get a you know Porsche Taycan at some point in the future, but that won't be for, for a little while, I would imagine. Anyway, happy hunting. Over and out.